Hello everybody, I am Duke James, and this is going to be a campaign in Crusader Kings 2. It's been a while since I've done one. I'm going to do the Heathenous Ways achievement, where you start as Eric the Heathen in 1066 start date, and you rule the Kingdom of Sweden as a member of the Reformed Germanic faith. Yes, okay. So, we can raid. My king is Catholic. But there's still a lot of pagans in the world. Norway is Catholic, so Imagine that's why I'm called Eric the Heathen. I'm the only one here that is not Catholic. All right, so I'm going to want to probably expand inside Sweden to protect myself against crusades until I get sufficiently powerful enough. And then I'll have to take over Sweden and then get the five, at least three, three of the sites. I control Uppsala, so that's good. I only need two then. One is in Denmark. One is in the HRE. Probably not going to get that. There's a lot of troops. 17,000. The other one is in France. That one's a little bit easier to get. That's the one that's in Denmark. That one's probably what I'll get. Okay, and the other one is in Norway. So that's probably not my best bet. This one and then whatever one was up here would be the easiest to get to. Alright, so I'm Duke Eric III, the Heathen of Upland. I'm a legitimized bastard, envious, cynical, charitable, and erudite. I have a strong claim on the Kingdom of Sweden. Let's do hunting focus. So I could immediately just become King of Sweden. But that wouldn't bode well. Is my, uh, I imagine my, yeah, my succession laws are agnatic, cognatic, gabble kind. So I'd like to get rid of that. I'd have to reform. So I think my best, actually my best bet might be to become king as soon as possible and then try to consolidate my reign and then grab those two sites. Molar authority sucks. So this is partially... It's held by a member of the Germanic faith but is a vassal of another religion. Okay, so I'd have to become independent and that would flip to 10%. All right, let's see. Ambitions. Let's groom an heir. My liege has 3.6, 2,000 troops. I have 1,000. Can I revoke territories, titles? Terrorification law enabled in Duchy of Upland. So the easiest way to gain a couple of territories is just to revoke them from my vassals, but it's disallowed, so let's go ahead and allow that. Let's go ahead and sway my liege so he doesn't try to move against me because I am not his religion.
No, I don't want that to happen. So I need 50 prestige. Okay, so I'm feudal. Pagan, feudal. Alright, so prestige isn't that important, so I could use that to revoke. My vassals want increased council power. And the Lords of Sweden approved. No, do not convert. No, I think that's the conversion chain, so I do not want to convert. Let's make my wife the designated regent. I have a bloodline. I am a descendant of Ragnar Lodbrok. So my Norse opinion plus five, Viking opinion plus five, pirate opinion plus five, ravager opinion plus five, sea king opinion plus five, sea queen opinion plus five, raiding can give the Viking traits. All right. Damn it. Uh, increased council power. I have thirteen hundred men. Not allied with anybody. I might as well just fight because if I lose, then all that happens is the power of the council increases. So. Might as well try. Let's get some commanders. Just that one guy. Let's raise levies. Too bad I can't make my, uh, liege. Stop the war. Alright, let's make that guy a commander. Should have decent commanders. Because I don't want these guys to join up. Are they going to attack me with no morale? It's probably not the worst thing if they attack me with no morale. You dummies.
Let's go seat him down. Siege off. Who wins first? Can I hire mercs? No, but I can get those troops. I do not ha have enough money for mercs. Eighty three per cent. Sure. I don't have any kids. So I can't do an alliance. I can't seize this province out. I don't want to leave this province because they're going to come back and take it. If they come to Upland, I can come back here, try to take that very quickly. Kill that troop. So I could white piece them. There we go. They're gonna go over there. Nope, where are you going? What are you trying to do? You gonna attack me? Alright, here we go. They're gonna attack me. So this guy is flanking, so he should definitely be on a flank. Can I get any other commanders? Da, da, da. Not really. Could... Could promote a commander. I'm not sure that'd be really worth it, and I need that prestige to revoke title, so... They have no traits. I guess that other guy died? The 21? No, he's here. He is Shia. He's my spy master. What? Why is he my spy master? There he is. Let's put him in the middle, actually. No, you go over there, you go to the middle, you go there. Alright, I think if I lose this, I should still be able to wipe peace. Fuck. Do you want to wipe peace? No. Let's run up here. Try to grab this before. Any 20 days, 20 days, 4 days. Assault. White piece now, no. No, no white piece. 68% they don't want a white piece. Uh, this is not... Let's 
gone about as well. Damn it. Okay. Uh. Fine. Sixty-two. No. So I'm going to get rid of my wife. Get somebody with better stewardship. Let's bribe that guy. And then revoke titles from my vassals. Decided to grant me the Duchy of Bergslagen in recognition of my service and the nobility of spirits. Okay. I think that's one vassal he added. These are all tribes. There's only two two counties with uh, castles. Let's get these guys going. It's not giving me any kids. My queen is uh, my liege's husband, and they are not matrilineally married, so. Hey, my wife just gave me a kid. Probably gonna kill her. Kill her before he's born. My wife, it's pregnant. Uh, sure, seven gold. Even though I'm trying to murder her. So, this guy, actually I could revoke this guy, although I have a truce. Well, let's see. Trying to get there before they rose up. So 
So I should be able to get this county. That'll give me three. Alright, enforce demands, you go to jail, revoke your title. That eliminates a vassal, and it gives me an extra county holding now, so I have three. Alright, so I will end this part here and pick it up in the next part. I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.